Christ said that it wasn't good for a man to be alone. He said, and I will make a help meet for him. And it said that the Lord took a rib from Adam and he made the woman and he said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. And she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Chandler, will you take Katie to be your wife, to live with her according to God's holy ordinance? Will you love her as Christ loved the church, giving yourself only for her? Will you be kind? Will you be compassionate? Will you comfort her and encourage her? Will you honor her and keep her, forsaking all others, that you keep yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? I will. Katie, will you take Chandler to be your husband? live together in the holy covenant of marriage will you submit unto him as unto the lord will you love him will you honor him will you obey him forsaking all others keeping yourself only for him as long as you both shall live i will chandler repeat after me i chandler take you katie i chandler take you katie to be my wife in the sight of the lord jesus christ to be my wife in the sight of the lord jesus christ i promise to be faithful I promise to be faithful in suffering and in joy, in suffering and in joy, in poverty and wealth, in poverty and wealth, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. I promise to love you as long as we both shall live. I promise to love you as long as we both shall live. I will never divorce you. I will never divorce you. I promise you my faithfulness. I promise you my faithfulness. I, Katie, take you, Chandler. I, Katie, take you, Chandler to be my husband in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. To be my husband in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful. In suffering and in joy. In suffering and in joy. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I promise to love you as long as we both shall live. I promise to love you as we both shall live. Do you, Chandler, take Katie to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you take Chandler to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I declare you are husband and wife, <laughs> whom therefore God has joined together, that no man put asunder. You may now kiss your wife. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Chandler Ross Tyner. <laughs>